This is KIMT News 3 at 5 in high definition. Well, it turns out April showers don't bring May flowers, but snow flowers. From North Iowa to southern Minnesota, this is Snow Mayhem 2013. And this is definitely not what May is usually like, but here we are once again after a major snowstorm. And we are covering the snow mayhem across our viewing area. We have KIMT News 3's Natalie Tendall and meteorologist Tyler Roney live for us in Mason City and reporter Jaron Rennie standing by also in Albert Lee. And obviously the amount of snow you saw in your driveway and yards today really depends on where you live. Yeah, and with the first check of the weather right now and a breakdown of everything that happened, we are going to head, uh, head over to Storm Team 3, Chief meteorologist Adam Frederick in the Storm Team 3 Forecast Center. A very interesting day. Everybody in the weather department has been on their toes today. That's right. This has been a real record-setting snowfall for across the region as many cities in our viewing area have never recorded snowfall on the 2nd of May. So definitely unique and not only just to be, you know, get an inch or a half inch, we got anywhere, you know, from four to 16 inches of snow. Let's take a look and see what's happening outside. There's still some snow falling, especially across the eastern kinds of our viewing area. Now, don't let this fool you. The radar is thinking that there might be a little bit of rain because of the temperature, but it is also seeing some snow still a little bit in Mason City and just coming to an end in Albert Lee. Let's take a look and see what's happening on our Albert Lee live eye in the sky. You can see how it is pretty much over with and the streets are mainly wet, except for obviously the big piles. The parts that were plowed seem to be improving across the region. Now, if you're wondering how much snow Snow fell across the viewing area. Well, here's a look at some of those numbers. Anywhere from about 5.2 inches in Charleston, two and a half inches in Harmony, to 10 inches for Lake Mills, Algona, Britt 11, Albert Lee Austin at 10, and then the 15 inch mark for Ellendale, Dodge Center, Owatonna, and Rochester at 13 and a half inches. So some pretty significant snowfall numbers. And we still have a winter weather advisory that goes until 10 a.m. on Friday for some of the counties in white. Winter storm warning until 7 o'clock tonight for the counties in pink. Now, of course, we decide the weather was bad, so we stick our own meteorologist, Tyler Roney, out in the field. Tyler, tell me what is it like? Well, Adam, right now, things have kind of calmed down for the time being. We're seeing just a little bit of flurry activity outside. Obviously, it's overcast and it's still very cold outside. But you mentioned that snow. It's that heavy, wet snow right now. So as you see in the parking lot right now, as I step into this, it compacts really, really easily right now. And so that's why we've seen about six inches of snow in Mason City. But in this parking lot, it's more like four inches right now. And obviously, on days like today, when it's obviously the 2nd of May, you can pick up snow just like this and obviously make snowballs very, very very easily and that's causing all sorts of problems across the viewing area today not just for travel but obviously when you're talking about power lines and trees snowballs and bad weather like that not a good day for that of course either so that's why we're going to introduce natalie tendall to talk about what's been happening today i like and to snowball oh now wait a minute oh, this is kind of fun it is kind of fun isn't it now obviously not for everybody though because no. you have to deal with maybe the negative aspects of this today. absolutely you know the roads all throughout the day you know they were kind of a little treacherous to drive on but they all the, this heavy snow also caused caused some more issues across the area tree branches across the area were falling left and right. I caught up with cutting edge tree service leaders earlier today and they tell me that they are extremely busy with calls and are only taking emergencies right now. They say the weight of the snow is putting extra pressure on the limbs causing them to snap very easily. Yeah, trying to leaf out uh, that they're just so heavy at the branch tips with the snow on the ice it doesn't help out and the trees are just crashing down. Now, Hardy says to always use caution when the trees have that much snow on them because obviously that can fall down and then if you're underneath them, it's a bad situation. But I know a lot of other areas we're dealing with some different issues today. We're going to go to KIMT News 3's Jaron Rennie. He's in Albert Lee and Jaron, I heard that they had some power issues there today. Well, that's right, Natalie. It may look pretty in some spots like Fountain Lake behind me, but in many of the neighborhoods, things get a bit ugly. Energy crews have been busy all day in Albert Lee and throughout Freeborn County. On Lakeview Boulevard, a power line caused the road to be cut down to one lane. Around 11 this morning, we were informed that they have closed a stretch of that road from the fairway to Sunset Street so they can continue cleanup. They expect it to remain closed throughout most of this afternoon and evening. But trees are also causing problems in many neighborhoods. Lines on first, of course, the substations first, and then we kind of work out from the substation and get the most amount of people on as we can in the shortest amount of time. 
Now, safety crews remind us that if you see a downed power line, to assume that it's energized. They say to stay away from them and call right away. Certainly, it's been a busy day for many across our area, and that includes city officials. So for more on that story, let's send it back to you guys in the warm studio. <laughs> it's a good place to be today. Thank you very much, Jared. In Mason City, the snowplow's got a bit of a late start hitting the roads this morning. That's because the plows required some assembly. Officials say they didn't have the plows put away for the year yet, but it did take about 30 to 40 minutes to get them ready to go. More than two dozen pieces of equipment hit the roads around 5.30 this morning, and it wasn't the easiest process to remove all the snow. Skid loaders and dump truck snow plows. The snow is also causing problems with area construction projects. One of the delays is coming on some major construction on Interstate 90 through Austin. But MnDOT is also set to get some projects going on Monday. Leaders say they're not too concerned with how long these projects will be pushed back. We put in a weather delay. There's some cushion that we have with the completion dates that are weather related. Now granted, typically when we put those into the contracts, we anticipate that to be things like rain and not so. MnDOT will be putting the I-90 project on hold until the snow stops and temperatures get warm enough. They can't do the construction if temps get below freezing at night. And as you can imagine, all this snow is resulting in a big mess on area roads, even where construction is not scheduled. Here's a look at I-35 near the Twin Lakes exit in southern Minnesota. Law enforcement agencies tell us they haven't seen any serious injuries in crashes in this weather system, but they have responded to a lot of vehicles stuck in the ditch. And authorities are reminding drivers not to put away those winter driving skills for the season just yet. It's very atypical of what we should be seeing, but it is a reality and, and just be safe, be prepared, um, expect the unexpected. Sheriff Kindler says if you do find yourself stuck on a road, the best thing to do is remain in the vehicle and call for help. The weather was responsible for many cancellations and delays, including putting a halt to the Noah Crooks murder trial. Today was supposed to be day three of the trial, which is taking place at the Wright County Courthouse in Clarion. But not only does this cancellation impact the trial, but actually those who live in Clarion as well. One local coffee shop says they've been busy keeping up with people in town for the trial. It's been, it's been great. I love being busy. I love it. It's good. And the customers, I like. I like seeing them. It's good. The trial is expected to continue tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. when the prosecution will call more witnesses to the stand. With so much going on today, many just don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Last night we fell asleep to rain, woke up this morning to a much different scene. I know my four-year-old ran out and said, yes. snow, snow. He was excited. Mm -hmm. KIMT News 3's Andy Satowski is finding out how people are coping, though, with the shock of this snow mayhem. It's a wintry, slushy, mess out there and this snow mayhem 2013 is a shock to everyone definitely wasn't expecting it uh, it's mother nature and it's iowa you take what you get the roads are treacherous and causing more than a few cars to slide into a place people don't want to be it's just got a little too close to the edge and it just pulled the front wheel over into the snow and here i am in the ditch Stephen Ralston drove up from Des Moines this morning. Needless to say, he's less than thrilled. It's just uh, too late in the year for this. And he's not the only one feeling the frustration as people's May Day plans take a detour. Basically to go out and get the truck back out of storage and put the blade on it and go home and try to push the snow off of the pavement. From plows to shovels. Folks are scrambling to keep parking lots and sidewalks clear, and this snow is a lot different than what we've seen in the past. This is just soaked with water, and um, it's just heavy to shovel. Josh has been up shoveling since 3.30 this morning and is bundling up to make it through. Snow pants on and sweatshirt and coat, gloves and hat. But some local folks are choosing to look at the weather in a positive way. We need the moisture badly to get the lake back up, but... Uh, it could have came in uh, 10 degree warmer increments, that's for sure. For now, most are just waiting for the storm to pass. This is supposed to be uh, 60 degrees, 70 degrees weather, and, and here it is snow. And hope for sunny days ahead. Uh, that it melts off here pretty soon and start getting some warmer weather again. Andy Sitowski, KIMT News 3.
And most of those who are out and about talking to Annie said they've never seen this much snow in May, but we're in pretty good spirits despite all the conditions. Now, many of you have been sending us photos of the conditions that you're seeing in your area. You can keep doing that. Do that through email and on our Facebook page. We're putting them together in one place, a photo gallery on our website. You can head there. Just head to KIMT.com. Find that gallery under local news. We also have our full coverage of Snow Mayhem 2013 there. My favorite photo so far is a fountain surrounded by water water surrounded by snow. Yeah, you just don't see that every day in May. It's pretty rare. <laughs> Let's check in with Sarah Danik in the newsroom for a look at what's coming up tonight at 6. Sarah, what can we expect? Well, Matt and Amy, I can tell you we are not done talking about the snow quite yet. And it's not just shovels and snow blowers being used today. We'll tell you what the snow removal equipment of choice was in southern Minnesota. Plus, it's not summer yet, but there's no school for kids today. And another snow day means more time before their official summer vacation. We have details from several North Iowa schools school districts we'll of all those stories coming up at six. All right. Sounds great. Thank you, Sarah. We're going to take a slight break away from snow mayhem 2013 to tell you why the World Trade Center in New York is making news again. Also, federal authorities are getting a key piece of evidence in the Boston bombing case. Details on that coming up next. You're watching KIMT News 3 at 5. News with Matt Bradley and Amy Fleming. Chief Meteorologist Adam Frederick with your Storm Team 3 weather. KIMT News 3. Coverage you can count on.